Robert Cherry and husband John Burke claim Patricia Pascoe's dog attacked their chihuahua. Patricia claims Robert's negligence caused the incident. And Robert came up and started kicking, punching his eyes, yelling at him, and punching him. Did he still have the dog in his mouth? At that, I, it made matters worse. Of course. Well, I would punch him in the eyes, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get him to let go of my dog. Right. Wouldn't you? Of course. But of course. what I would have done is of either course. pick up my little... No, 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 no. But you would have done that. I mean, you said that as if he was doing something wrong. He was he trying was? to save his dog. Oh, yes. Okay. And your dog was injured? Yes. Now your version of the events. And we were walking down uh, the street, Ocean Avenue, and we walked. Was it just you and the dog? Just me and the dog. And we go this route every day. Yes. Down but you hadn't seen each other before. Never ever. seen them in, in, okay. in all the years we've been walking down the street. Okay. And we do have a retractable leash that goes out to 12 feet. I do not let him out the 12 feet, though. But you let him out. He probably had maybe two feet, maybe yeah, three maybe feet. Yeah, maybe a little more. Go ahead. Yeah, maybe not much more. Go ahead. We were walking down the street, and I did see her coming towards us, and they were all the way on the opposite side of the sidewalk, being good. As soon as I got, like, eye to eye, it was her dog that lunged at my dog and didn't run over and snatched Are you telling him. me that your dog didn't run up and jump? <laughs> no, he did not. He was being a perfectly good dog that day. He does yap at bigger dogs from time to time. That day, he did not. He was being very good and quiet. Was the peep at me. But her dog lunged over. In fact, there were like three or four lanes of people walking past. Because it was a busy day in front of Walgreens that day. And he lunged across those lanes of people and grabbed my little dog and just started thrashing him all around. And she grabbed her dog did Miss, leash. Did Miss Pascoe tell you at any time during that day or subsequently that a dog had had an incident with a raccoon that day? She did mention it later, after the fact. Oh, how much were your vet bills? $7,400 was the total. Actually, no, it, it, it wasn't quite that amount. It was $6,986. Can I see them, please? Yeah, here's the, here's the vet invoice. She's already paid $500. I have that. Who paid $500? That's a page it did. The day after the incident. And then I also have proof of payment if you'd like to see that. I'd like to see. When did you pay the $500, Miss Pascoe? The day after, whenever it was. What's the day? Why? Well, I'm an animal lover, as I think many of us are. And he had to run so quickly. I gave him my card. I volunteered my card. And he wanted to get the dog to the vet. Mm -hmm. And I paid it just out of consideration, common courtesy. And there was no follow-up other than I got an estimate that they had sent to me. I have never seen a final bill. Well, here it is. I'd like to show it to you. Your Honor, yeah, to the date of the incident, right after the incident, when she was handing me her business card, she stated to me that she felt, well, apologized, obviously, and felt that she was responsible for my dog's vet bill. She told me that clearly that day of the incident. So, obviously, I was going to uphold that. She well, said people are going to take care of the dog anyway. Oh, you do it anyway. <laughs> it's my baby. Yeah, I'm going to take I care I of it. See. Judge Judy continues in a moment. And later today... Mr. Robles, yes, if you think you're going to get $5,000 for those records,